Hey guys, guys, it's Beth, Beth and Hope, Hope here, and this is our first Restortion video. Leave a comment down below on what do you think this doll's name should be. Also, please give our video a thumbs up. Also, tell us if you want more Restortion videos of our dolls or a tutorial on how to do hair or something. We'd love to know and love to give tips. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the video. Hi guys, it's Beth and Hope here, and we have a number four with us today. We are going to be doing a, I guess, Restortion video. We got her on eBay. She was uh, listed as gently used and in a good condition. She's filthy. Right here, I don't know if you can see it, but she's sticky. Her face is sticky. She looks like she's been scratched, even though she's you can't got really... several scratches. You can't really tell on camera, but her face also looks like it's been scratched. It also looks like she's missing some vinyl in certain areas, especially on the legs. Kind of almost like uh, my lookalike doll, but... She's got... No, this isn't the right foot. This is the left um, it looks like she's been nicked with something. You can feel it. I don't know if you can see you can it. You can kind of like see. right there. If it would focus, She's got that several is. marks on this leg. It looks like some vinyl's missing on this leg as well. Vinyl's missing on this leg too. And her limbs are extremely loose. I don't know if you can see that, but her arms... She's very just wobbly. Her hair, it's not brushed, but it looks like it's been cut. Because number four dolls that I've seen, even when their hair is knotted, it's got a nice fall to it. It's a Even, basically. Here. It's even and it's rounded. So, diagnosis for this doll. Bad condition. She's she she's she's very loved. Her she has been very loved. She comes with this olive colored skirt with lilac trim. Also, sorry the lighting isn't that great. It's just we're in our room right now. We need um we forgot to turn on our lamps when we uh, started filming. So. The shirt's cute. It's got a little stain right here on the collar of the shirt. Um, we forgot to say that she has gunk all up in her teeth and dust. Her eyes close nicely like they listed. I'm, I'm going to take just a regular wet one, baby wipe whatever and I'm going to just take off the sticky bit on her cheek oh that's coming right off not even no elbow grease needed in this bit yeah but her face was like really just really really sticky so we're gonna take care of that like right now and the stickiness on her face is gone. gone. She's no longer sticky. sticky. She can stand on her own like most dolls if you balance them correctly. I'm just going to open up. I'm just going to get out our brush and I'm going to just take this little skewer that we made and take it and just kind of her teeth out. There we go. And there's no more gunk in her teeth. She's got a little mark by her lip. Right there. I just noticed that. I don't think we can fix that. So. Her 
her face is generally taken care of now. I'm going to take out her, I'm going to take off her head and de-stuff her and we are going to show you the relimbing process, or not relimbing process, tightening the limbs. enjoyed that time lapse that took probably about like a minute minute and a half to get her head off so her hair's definitely been cut like I said before I've seen videos of this particular doll I mean not this doll in the this model doll in specific being taken care of and limb tightening um her hair should be like around this length so I hope maybe an iron, like a straight iron will, a straight ironing will help us take care of that. Right now we're just opening up our doll fixer, fixing kit to get rubber bands out. This is what our kit looks like. We're just getting some rubber bands out. You never know what life's going to throw at you, especially since we have... Several dolls. Several. Who am I kidding? We have a lot of dolls. And if we need to fix them, we have the materials to fix them. Do so. Like, the one doll that we had, um, the neck strings came out. We had to fix that. I think that was we, ha we had to sew a body one, like, one of their bodies once because the, uh, Neck strings tore it when we were tying them, and leave a comment down below. What do you think number four's name should be? I think we have a name in mind, but leave a comment on what do you think this beautiful doll's name should be. So we've taken out most of her stuffing right now. Ho also, hope you enjoyed that time lapse. We're just taking out her stuffing right now. It's good quality American Girl doll stuffing. As you can see, it's nice and soft. Dog stuffing. Dog stuffing. The stuff with dog toys come with. Yeah. That's a nice picture in my mind. Yes, dogs are actual animals. They're made of stuffing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, dog stuffing. All the stuffing is taken out for the most part. Hold. Pay attention. Oh. So. Her face is flooded and stuffing. This is what her body looks like right now. And we are going to tighten her limbs with rubber bands. There is another method on tightening limbs, but that requires like you actually taking off the limbs and putting this, them back this on. This method's so much easier. Um with Kenneth, which is the doll that has appeared in two stop motions, which, Ken and Gwen, and uh, my, our first stop motion ever. By the way, shout out to Valerie from Bavis Dolls International on eBay. Link, Link in, in description. description. So we are going to quickly... Do a time lapse and we'll be right back. Of finishing tightening up the limbs. Just finished tightening her limbs. Um, her limbs are all tight now. And now we are going to be right back. We are going to go into our bathroom to quickly scrub her limbs up and brush her hair and wash her hair and we'll be right back when we are in our bathroom.